So, John, <laughs> uh, thank you for taking your time to talk to us. Uh, maybe just a few quick questions to start with. Yeah. Um, what is your most favorite Eurovision entry of all time? Oh, my God. Crazy. So, uh, I think <laughs> Frida Bocara from 1969. I love the song Un jour, un enfant. And okay. uh, also, I really like also uh, Comme, un, Comme un enfant. Um, mm. uh, from, um, oh my God, <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Uh, <laughs> Marie Miriam, sorry, Marie Miriam. And actually, she called, she called me like two months ago to tell me that she really likes my song. And I was like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, like, uh, cool. yeah. So yeah, I would say like uh, old French vibe. <laughs> okay, yeah. I understand. And uh, do you have any uh, other musical inspirations? Or who are your musical inspirations? Which artists? Uh, so when I started music, it was more like uh, classical or baroque, bar baroque music, like Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, like the class uh, classics. <laughs> Worse. And then, um, <clears throat> and then, um, it's Dave early Bowie, in the Grace Jones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grace Jones, uh, David Bowie. And now it's like, it should be, um, Aurora. I love Aurora. actually. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay. And you live in the French speaking part of Switzerland, but do you also know some German? <laughs> Also, uh, ich hatte total, uh, mein, I mean, ich, uh, ich habe mein Deutsch uh, vergessen, <laughs> aber ich kann treiben ein bisschen. Ah ja, that's good. <laughs> but I not Swiss German. German. Sorry? But, but not Swiss German, I mean, I cannot, uh, <laughs> yeah. I can just say hoi. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't understand it either, so that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> And how do you like it at Eurovision so far? How do you like it here in Rotterdam? It's really cool. Actually, I, I just thought that we're gonna see a bit more each other. I mean, with the, with the other artists. Yeah. So sometimes it's kind of, it's, I mean, it's weird because I think that the most of them, I'm, I'm going to meet them in the two cause, in the two cause carpet. So yeah. it's just like, you know, uh, but still it's really cool. And I love how they did Ahoy. I mean, it's really cool. So um, I love the place <laughs> and there are crazy people like, uh, For the hair, for the hairdresser. I mean, from the hairdresser to the to the people who bring us to the press conference, for example. Everyone is so kind, so that's cool. Okay, and let us talk about your staging. So, how do you feel on stage now? Are you already satisfied? Are there going to be some changes? And maybe you can even tell us a little bit about the idea behind the behind the staging and your performance. Yeah, so um, for the staging, um, you know, my, my song speaks about the cycle of life. So I really wanted to have it aesthetically. And so that's why uh, Sasha thought about the prop and we discussed about it. And uh, she, she proposed me different uh, props. And I was like, oh, I like the one that makes a circle because like, I mean, that's, that's but like, you know, just not like a circle, but also a circle that you can de destroy. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's also a bit like uh, the idea of the song. So I was like so happy that uh, she, she had that idea of uh, having something uh, that could be moved during the performance. So, uh, and about the, about the rehearsal, I mean, between the first one and the second one, I really feel more confident. And uh, also like, um, yeah, I mean, I have the feeling that it's gonna go well and uh, And I'm quite happy uh, with that uh, second performance. Even if I'm really perfectionist, I was really proud when I uh, hear it uh, in the viewing room because uh, at least the, all the work we, we put into this uh, project, uh, it's always cool to see the result, you know? Okay. And um, we don't have that much time today, so maybe already like the last few questions. Um, do you have any plans about releasing new music soon? Of course, I would love to do it like as soon as possible. So it's gonna be after six, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be um, from <laughs> this June till the other June. But then I don't know if it's uh, I mean from the next year. So I don't know then if we are making something for December, if we're making something for after, it's it's really hard to say because actually um, I never had really the time to really spend that time in my album because 
I mean, before the vote, I mean, I had the voice and then I had the Eurovision, it was canceled. I had the other, this Eurovision to prepare. So I never really had the time to do it, to do, to continue my album and yeah. that stuff. So I really hope uh, I need to record the songs. I need to work on the songs. So I don't know how much time it will take. So it's hard to say when, but for sure. I mean, I signed the label for releasing something. So it's going to go out, but it's just... Okay. I just don't know really when. Yeah. And they're going to be like really, I mean, they're going to be beautiful surprises because I also met crazy people with those writing camp session. And, uh, and so I really hope people will like those surprises. We're looking forward to it, definitely. <laughs> and uh, one one, yeah, one last thing then. Um, is there anything more you want to say to your German fans, maybe? So feel free to do it now. <laughs> also, äh, danke für, äh, für euren Support und äh, für euren Stimmen äh, und äh, äh, stay safe and healthy <laughs> and lots of love and I really hope, yeah. I really hope like for the skeptical people that are not so sure about Eurovision that they, that they will discover it this year, I really hope they're gonna like it because I really think that this edition is a special i mean maybe i'm saying that just because i'm in this world but i really have the feeling that it's a really tough one everyone is like i don't know who is going to go to, to stand out from that from all the performance because you know um they were telling me like yeah it was also always like the first or the second we knew a bit but this year we don't know at all and it's like it means that um the quality is good so that's really cool for a show that people cannot decide you know It is, I agree. So thank you very much, John. Uh, you have thank a tough stack schedule, so yeah. Uh, thanks so much and all of luck for next week. See you in the arena. See you, yeah, see you there. Bye, John. <laughs>